I am so excited. I am so excited right now because I have so much new makeup and I just get to literally just play around with it. So tonight I'm going to the Flyers game with Gretchen to go see Max play and I am so excited because I haven't been to, well, first of all, I haven't seen Gretchen in over a year. I remember last time I saw her was December of 2020. So I haven't seen Gretchen in so long and I really am excited to catch up with her. I have so much that I wanna talk to her about. Um, just like, ugh, I haven't seen her in so long. So I'm really excited to catch up with her. And then I also am so excited to go to a Flyers game because Max is playing. And it's just really cool that Max, which obviously you guys know is Gretchen's boyfriend. It's just really cool that Max is on the Flyers because I'm from Philly. And just the fact that like he's on like a Philly team is really, really cool. But I'm really excited, honestly, to get ready because I have not been putting in any effort into myself lately and I feel it. I just feel so down, but I'm so excited. I got so much new makeup and so pretty much like half the stuff I'm using to my face is gonna be brand new and I'm so excited to use new makeup. I just feel like everyone is coming out with like new products right now. So this is gonna be my first time trying a bunch of new products. And I also want to do something like different with my hair. Um, and I also got new stuff at Aritzia today. So it's just a really good day. I just had a salmon bowl, like the viral one on TikTok. So I just want to get ready. I don't know if this is going to be chatty or if I'm just going to record it or a little bit of both. I have Housewives of Orange County on in the background. And I put on my Laneige lip mask, totally forgetting that I just got the Summer Fridays lip balm. I am just so excited to do my makeup i have the window open because it's finally nice outside <sighs> for like the the rest of this week is going to be like in the 50s thank god it's honestly been way too cold okay i'm so excited i got the new nars foundation okay so oh i got the nars light reflecting foundation in the shade santa fe I ordered this um, like a couple weeks ago, or no, maybe like a week ago, on Sephora. Oh, also, I got a lot of stuff that's like sold out everywhere. This is also the first time I'm using this um, foundation on its own. I tried it like a little bit. When did I get this in the mail? I got this in the mail on Saturday, and today's Wednesday. So I did this with the flawless filter under it. And I really liked it, but today I'm just doing it on its own to see. You know, I don't love my makeup setup that I have. I kind of want to like switch things around a little bit, but my room is small and it's so messy right now because I'm in the middle of doing laundry. So I apologize because it is not aesthetic, but I mean, come on, this is real life. Okay, uh, I feel like this color match is like pretty okay. It's not the best, but it's doable. It's doable with what we're working with today. And I feel like everything is just gonna look a little skewed because I'm pretty backlit because I have my windows open. Um, I really just want sunlight in here. I was honestly in such a slump all morning, but as soon as I ate, I started like feeling a lot better. And so I was like, wow, was I just hungry all day? Because I had breakfast and orange juice and my cappuccino like normal. But as soon as I like ate my salmon bowl, my mood increased, but maybe it's also because it registered that like I'm able to go get ready and oh, it's so fun getting ready. Overall, um, I like this foundation. I think it's cute. Okay, so I don't know if this is new, but I've been seeing it all over Instagram, so I wanted to try it. This is a cream bronzer from Anastasia. Hang on, let me see me one. I got the shade Amber because I didn't really have much to work with there, but I think this is gonna be a 
really good match. And this was definitely cheaper than the Chanel bronzer, cheaper than this one. And look, I have the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer, wherever it is. I don't need to show it, you guys trust me. I have that bronzer, but I feel like it's so muddy. I don't know, it like, it, oh, oh. Um, anyway, the Charlotte Tilbury one is so muddy and it dries so quickly. So like as soon as I put it on, you just, you have to get rid of it. Like otherwise it just dries down and it becomes so hard to blend out. First impression of this is it's very pigmented. I will get to that. But oh my God, like do you see how beautifully that just blended out? I barely had to put in any elbow grease. And to be honest, the Charlotte Tilbury one, as soon as I lay it down, I have to get it off. And the Chanel one is good, but it just doesn't have a lot of pigment, to be honest. It blends really well, but it doesn't have a ton of pigment. And look at this. Like, oh my God. Wait, this is beautiful. Okay, this, I'm gonna say it now, is definitely my new fave. Definitely. Like, look at that blend. Gorgeous absolutely gorgeous okay i could actually use a little more right there just to even out the forehead perfect okay i really like it and i think the shade was perfect this is the shade amber perfect and i'm gonna clean it up too with like powder and stuff but just cream remember how they always say like cream in the summer, powder in the winter. Why not cream all year? I just feel like like your skin is so dry in the winter, may as well keep on with the cream. You know? What time is it? I have to leave here by four, it's 2.45. Okay, I really, really like it. Okay, um, do I wanna do cream blush? I don't think so because I got two new powder blushes that I want to play with today. Um, okay, let's go on to concealer then. So, so far this is all the new and I'm going to keep the momentum going right now. Um, I got this Kosa Super Creamy and Brightening in 5.5. We'll see. This shade looks right. We'll see. I hope it's not like too light. It looks perfect. But we shall see. Oh, it's super creamy. Okay. I don't want to do too much out the gate and regret it. So we can always add more and take away what we don't need. And then this is, I think this is like a crown brush but I like to pat in first with a with a brush so that I can make sure the concealer is going right where I want it to go and then I'll go in with a beauty blender to like really buff this into the eye but I really like it and this was giving exactly what I was hoping it would give like this natural coverage with a natural look and it is it's definitely not like the most full coverage concealer ever but that's kind of what i've been straying away from lately so it works for me i recently got the pat mcgrath under eye pressed powder because i don't always want to do a loose powder but today i do so sorry, Pat McGrath, you gotta go. So today I'm just gonna use my Too Faced Born This Way setting powder. And I'm just going to set my under eyes. 
I'm going to bronze with this bronzer that I've been holding the whole time, the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. So I had to turn on Housewives. I'm currently watching Orange County. If you listen to my podcast, then you would kind of know my feelings towards Orange County, but I'm watching an older season and it is so much better than the current season. I don't know. I talk about it way more on the podcast, but I'm using this bronzer and I'm putting this all over my forehead and my cheeks and my jaw. I really like this bronzer because it is super buildable and it's not too strong out the gate to where you have to do damage control. It really lets you be in control. And there are so many bronzers that I do have to do damage control with, um, like the Anastasia powder bronzer that I use a lot. I forget what the shade is, but it's so pigmented that I have to use such a light hand and then it just becomes really like splotchy. But this one is amazing. And I'm of course going to have everything linked below. Um, I'm taking a Morphe blending brush and just writing this down my nose. This isn't like an official nose contour, but I normally always do this where I put it down the sides of my nose and then into my crease and underneath my eye as well. And that's like always the base of my makeup. I feel like no matter what I do, unless I'm doing like, I don't know, something crazy, which I don't normally do. Anyway, now I'm just going in with a little bit of MAC Give Me Sun. It is so gorge and it just gives you like this really pretty sun-kissed look. And I also put Give Me Sun all over my lid and into my crease as well. And look at how much... That just makes my eyes pop. I don't know. I just feel like this bronzer, specifically MAC Give Me Sun, is beautiful for light colored eyes. And I have blue eyes, so I can really only, I guess, speak for blue eyes. But it just makes my blue eyes literally pop out of my head. And it just looks so bright, so good, and so natural. This is like a tried and true to foolproof eyeshadow, I feel like. Now this is in Anastasia loose setting powder and this I swear to god is a secret weapon to making your cheeks look so smiley and lifted all night um I just felt so like smiley all night and I, I swear to god it's because of this and the cheek combo that I'm about to show you but this is game changer if you don't do this in your routine try it out let me know what you think and yeah so you just bake like underneath your contour I've seen people like drag it all the way down to their jaw. Um, totally go for it if that's your vibe, but it wasn't my vibe that day. Um, now I'm just filling in my eyebrows. This is the dupe of the Anastasia Brow Pencil, and this is by NYX. It's, I think it's in the color taupe, and it's literally the exact same. Dare I say better because it's a little creamier. So I got two new blushes, but I don't know what I want to do. Okay, so this. So I got the Fenty Freestyle Highlighter Duo and I saw a girl yesterday on a YouTube tutorial where she put this on like just as blush but it looks like too light to be just blush so I don't think I'm going to do that but it was so freaking pretty so it makes me want to do that like it was so pretty but I think I'm just going to layer this over top and like not do highlighter and just do that like almost as like two blushes but then i also got the dior rosy glow backstage blush in pink the one that's been sold out i just got it on dior's website and then it comes in like a cute little dior box like it's bougie try it out so i'm gonna do this even though it totally doesn't match i just want to use it to be honest today i've used this a couple times before it's very bright so i don't want it like super bright today wait what else have i been using lately oh yeah i also have this charlotte tilbury pillow talk but this is kind of dark for today and i've also been loving this is like a tried and true like og mac 101 stereo rose mineralized skin finish from mac literally so pretty all the time um but i just want to try like these two together today so we'll see Blush is so hard for me because I feel like I'm so new to it still because I would tend to just like skip over blush a lot. This brush helps me a lot. It's the Morphe M581. So I'm just going to do it like, 
I don't want to go too heavy on it though. Because I want it, because sometimes I think like this really pink blush doesn't look good with like the just bronzer on my eye, which is what I tend to like to do. So I'm just trying to keep it really, really light because this can get so pink and like so Kylie Jenner cheek, which is definitely a look and a pretty one, but not the one that I'm trying to go for right now. And I know the whole trend is like, keep your blush high, but I want it on my cheeks because, okay, I think that's perfect. I'm not gonna touch it anymore. Okay, we're done, move on. This blush is literally so pigmented, but this is what it looks like. It's kind of hard to see on camera, but it's just that it's like a perfect glow. And then I'm gonna go in with the Fenty Beauty Girl Next Door in Chic Pearl. And I'm literally just gonna take this on like a flatter blush brush. This is just a really old one from BH Cosmetics Throwback. And I'm just gonna mix the two. And just put that like right over top. And that is going to be my highlight. Oh, I think that's so cute. Okay, don't overdo it. Don't overdo it. This is where I tend to overdo it. Okay, cute. Oh, so cute. Okay, I'm also just going to put this color just on my lid a little bit. It's so cute. I just want it on my eye. Just a little. I kind of just want to like smoke out my lash line just a little bit. So this is how I've been kind of smoking out my upper lash line without going to gray. This is a Stila smudger eye pencil, but I line my upper waterline I believe in the old school beauty days, we used to call this a tight line. And that just makes your eyes look a lot more defined without putting eyeliner on the top. So I'll do that. And I put a little bit on my upper lash line as well. And this brush has no product on it. And it's it just really shows how well the Stila eyeshadow smudges. Like, look at that. It just smudges really, really well. Um, so, oh, I also put on some lashes. So this is actually, I think these are Ardell Wispies and I just cut one lash right down the middle and I did like the opposite on the outer corners. So like what would be the inner corner? I, you'll see, but like I do like the shorter end in the middle of my eye and the longer end on the outer edge of my eye. And you can get that from one lash like one strip lash. So I put these on. I love how they look. I use the duo lash glue. This is nylon by Mac. It's literally my tried and true. Um, this is inner corner and under the brow. Look at how pretty that is. Oh my God. It's gorgeous. I just love it. Um, then I curl my eyelashes and you're going to see that I got glitter all over my lash band, whatever, whatever. But the reason I got glitter was because the other day for spin, we had like a really fun ride. So I wanted to do euphoria makeup. So I did like glitter eyeliner and I curled my lashes right after and it's like forever in my eyelash curler now. So I tried to cover it up best I could with eyeliner, but I mean, whatever, I'll take some glitter. I will literally pour glitter all over my entire body and walk around like that every day if I could. I'm obsessed with glitter, so this is not a problem for me. I layer mascaras. This is Benefit They're Real, and you'll also see I go in with Too Faced Better Than Sex. And I just focus this on mostly the inner corner, but I also just use this to blend, and it blends out really well. I love how this looks. Yay! <laughs> I really like this makeup. It 
it feels pretty it feels girly it doesn't feel like it's too dark for my face because i feel like i don't always know how to do makeup my makeup when i'm like paler but i really like this i saw alexis oakley on instagram who is like my favorite makeup right now use this lip combo on tana she's the best because she doesn't gatekeep anything and she said that this what a combo she did the charlotte tilbury and pillow talk with mac honey love lipstick gorgeous Okay, it's so cute, but I'm just not a matte lip girl. I need a gloss. And this is the gloss. This is YSL number 10. This is so old, but it's exactly what I want. Yeah, the gloss was perfect. Maybe one of these days I'll be a matte girl, but not today. makeup I think it's perfect I think I look like myself but I think I look like very pretty dare I say like bridal because this is like kind of bridal maybe it's just because I'm in like a white robe but I don't know it feels low-key bridal to me I have really cute options which I feel like I don't normally have I got these jeans from Princess Polly these are option number one and I'm gonna wear like my white Converse with them. Option number two are these jeans. These are also from Princess Polly. If I don't like option number one jeans, these are option number two. They're similar, the only difference is these are more of like, they're not ripped. I guess that's really like the big thing. Then for a top, this is like seriously us just getting ready together and being girls, okay. Oh, how cute is this? I'm not going to wear this tonight, I don't think, because I don't know what jacket I'd wear with this. Well, let's think. What would I wear with this? Okay. I have options is what I'm getting at. So I got this like brown turtleneck from Maritzia, and I have this brown Sherpa jacket, and it's not like freezing cold out today. It's like brown on brown could be a moment, so this will definitely be an option. And then I got this as like a last resort if what I'm thinking my mind doesn't work. Um, but this is just like something that could definitely work too. I didn't buy stuff just for this, but I definitely had this in mind tonight when I was shopping. Um, it's just like this really cute like little hoodie cropped moment. Like that could definitely work as well. But I also got this really, really cute top. I'm not going to wear it tonight. But like this, I just think is so, so cute. I love this top. Okay, but this is what I'm thinking for tonight. Now that I see it, I don't know because it's so cute, but like maybe I want to do a little more glam than this. It's just like a plain black top, but like all three of these are gonna work. Okay, I'm gonna commit to the pant first and then try on the shirt afterwards okay so these are the jeans and then this is like the top option one obviously my hair is not gonna be like this okay this is the other one this is so cute like i feel like this could definitely be a moment with these jeans i also have other jeans i would try on too but i just think like this is just like cute chill cash something like i feel good in it so maybe this. This is cute too. Oops, my couch is there. This is definitely cute too with like, like a gold little chain. Also cute. I also have these jeans from Princess Polly, but like this is so weird. Like it's just a little too tight around my thighs and then just like a little too like loose. Like, it looks like I'm wearing a diaper, you know what I mean? 
um it's just a little weird so okay i think i'm just gonna do the other jeans but i decided on this top because i just feel really good in it i feel casual and comfy like i know gretchen's probably gonna look super cute but i've started to wear what i feel best in and what i know i'm going to enjoy wearing and that's this so i'm gonna change my jeans and then we're gonna go do hair i feel like my hair away from my face would look best with something like this but i don't want to do a slicked back bun because that's just not me it is sometimes but not today these like little clips because everything is coming back and that's what I used to do when I was little okay these are so cute and I'm gonna curl it too so I feel like with this like a big blowout would look best but I don't have like a Dyson Airwrap or anything so I'm just gonna curl with a one and a fourth inch barrel. This is a bio ionic. And I'm just gonna curl this and brush it out. So I feel like the best way to explain curling my hair this way is practice and the girls that get it, get it. And the girls that don't, don't. Um, no, but seriously. So I used to watch my hairdresser curl my hair like this all the time and I never understood it. I can do like an entire tor tutorial about this if you want, like either on my YouTube or on my Instagram or something. Um, but I kind of just did it like very loose and very sloppy today just because I didn't want my hair to look too done. Um, if I had a Dyson Airwrap, I would have done that. But I just wanted like a little body to my hair without it looking like a first grader that put clips in their hair and had their mom curl their hair. That was like what I was trying to avoid because that could have very easily turned into this. But yeah, just simple and cute. So fun because I literally used to do this hairstyle when I was young i feel like so like i love this hair it's just so cute the cutest little second day or more like 10th day hair for me so freaking cute what bag do i want to bring maybe like my belt bag and i'm just gonna wear my white converse with this really nice it's like in the 50s but when the game's done it's gonna be cold again so i think i'm just gonna wear like my black puffer okay this is adorable and i'm really happy with my outfit because i feel really good in it um and i'm super comfy and i feel like i'm not trying too hard a lot of times like i feel like i try too hard and i end up hating how i look but today, I didn't try too hard. Okay, we're gonna do a bum bag. I think it's cute. Okay. All right, so this is the final ensemble and I'm gonna bring my black um, puffer with me too. I am obsessed with this. I think it is so cute. So my pants are from Princess Polly. My Converse are just white high top Converse that are a little platform. My little sweatshirt thing is from Aritzia, and then my belt bag is Gucci. I got my hair clips at Target, and obviously you guys saw everything else. But okay, I gotta go. It's exactly time for me to go, so I'll talk to you guys later. Love you, bye.